Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about two and a half weeks ago, with one of the latest Dev Channel Insider Preview Builds 26200-5603, as I posted, and I'll leave the video linked if you want more info, Microsoft is testing a new user interaction aware CPU power management feature, which basically tries to reduce CPU usage when you're not actively using your PC. Now that was quite a big update um, for that build. There was quite a lot going on, so check the video out for more information. Now I just touched briefly on this user interaction aware CPU power management feature. So I thought for this video, we could just dive a little bit more deeper into what this is all about. Now Microsoft had this officially to say. It said that user interaction aware CPU power management is an OS level enhancement. So it's not going to be app specific, it's operating system level that helps reduce power consumption and extend your battery life. After a period of inactivity on your PC, Windows will now conserve power by automatically applying efficient power management policies. This happens seamlessly to save energy while you're inactive. With full performance instantly restored the moment you get back to it. Microsoft finishes off saying it's another way we're working to make Windows experience both responsive and energy efficient. But they did, as a side note, say, please note, actual savings depend on device segment, power mode, and whether you're plugged in or using battery. According to manufacturer defined processor management settings. So that's Microsoft's official take on the actual feature. So basically, as mentioned, the feature tries to reduce CPU usage when you're not actively using your PC. Now, although this may sound good in theory, there's a couple of things I hope Microsoft does focus on if and when this feature does make it to stable. As you may well know, when you turn on energy saver features or power management features, especially if you are maybe moving to best power efficiency or even balanced to some extent or the other, you usually can have a bit of a performance trade-off, so to speak. And this won't be good, as an example, if you are gaming or watching videos, because I don't think you would like the feature to be enabled in those instances but Microsoft did say that it will return to full speed as soon as you're back they officially said with full performance instantly restored the moment you get back to it that's Microsoft's official wording so hopefully that is something they do so as mentioned a couple of things I hope happens with this that it will kick in as soon as you're back it will be able to detect when you're playing a game or watching a video. And I hope there's a feature to turn off the user interactive aware CPU state if you don't need it. Or maybe you have to have a computer that is on 24 seven or for different use case scenarios. So hopefully there will be a feature to turn this on and off. But I think that will happen because Microsoft has included a good couple of um, power and battery settings already in Windows 11, so I don't see why they wouldn't. But that's just my kind of take on it, and uh, um, I thought this was an interesting feature, and just wanted to just um, dive a little bit more deeper for the purpose of this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.